Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Floor Planner. My name is Bob. As I always say, I'm here for customer success. I'm here for you all to give you more information as to the advances that have been occurring inside your Floor Planner platform. So let's talk about last month, uh, April, new features. We're going to talk about two. We'll keep this short today. They're valuable, um, but very quick to understand. So let's take a peek. Um, logged in right now as my floor planner account. Welcome. And uh, I want to show you where to find the list of these new tools and features that are occurring on a monthly basis. So when you're logged into your floor planner account, as I am right now on my platform, upper left hand corner, those four squares up there, that'll open up your profile tab. In your profile tab, you'll gain the right-hand sidebar. With the right-hand sidebar open, there are the new features that are listed up here with the most current listed at the top. If you hit the more button inside that window of the new features, it will take you to a separate window where all the new features will be listed. Again, most current up here at the top. And if we scroll down a few, you'll see where we left off during our last recording last month, um, where we were talking about surfaces and a new feature of surfaces, being able to do dotted lines for your two-dimensional presentations. Um, but we're going to talk about two additional features that were uh, implemented for the month of April, 2023. Um, product list for items in a room. You know, we could do product lists based on designs previously for the entire design. Um, now you can subdivide that and actually pull out the information just from a specific area and or room, room type that you've already created very valuable. Um, and also, we will talk about showing more items in your library search engine. So not only are you looking at two columns, four columns, now we can look at six columns. So it's easier to shop um, as you're looking for a specific item. Um, you'll see more populated on your screen all at one time. So let's take a peek at the product list. Um, let's go back to my floor planner account for a second up here. And let's go ahead and open up a project. And use this as an example. And we'll go to a different design tab in there, share something with some furniture, multiple designs, of course. And we'll just play with a furniture plan. Okay, we've got at least uh, three different rooms going on in here, patio, living room, bathroom down here. Um, this particular design, um, if you want to see all the items in this design that is now activated, you can look in the designs tab in the upper left-hand corner and the furniture plan design is running. There's four other designs out there, but this is the one that's active. And if you go down to the tab that says items in the design, open it up and yes, all the materials and finishes. So if you want to drag and drop them from over here to use them in other rooms, they're all in one spot. All the items, including the kitchen, all the features, this is the entire design, all items in the design, all rooms. So I could also not only drag and drop them from this left-hand sidebar into my model, but I can also download a product list up here at the top of the entire design for that project. And of course, it'll create as a CSV file, um, similar to, of course, opening for me, opening in Excel spreadsheets. So um, how about a single room though? So certainly I can left click and just select a room area. Um, I can also go out to the patio out here as another room area, or even this small little bathroom down here. Um, we'll stay on the patio for right now. And on the left-hand side, when just the patio is selected, you're going to see that you can see the items in this one selected room, not the full design. And this is unique just to that specific area. So if you wanted a product list, just hit the download product list. And of course, you remember from our previous recordings and videos that we put out there, um, you can now filter and customize even that room, um, all products, product lights, colors, materials. Right now I have everything selected that's in that area, but you can go ahead and turn certain items off if you care to. You can even change the quantities um, in the list itself as 
shopping list, if you would. But with, uh, we'll just leave all the filter on as it is currently and say download the product list. And as you can see in the lower left-hand corner, sure enough, the CSV file has been created. And we can just even just double click that. We're going to open, for my sake, opening an Excel spreadsheet. And you'll get this uh, column and line rows of information data uh, of what's in just that one room now. Um, of course, you could do the entire design if you care to, but now you can do also the singular one rooms. So I think this is extremely valuable. Um, so let's get out of our design right now. And we were also going to talk about the other new feature for April um, is the furniture tab over here, which of course are all of your three-dimensional objects and assets that are available out there, not just furniture. Um, and you're doing your search out there. So here's the subclassifications of the categories that are out there, like over 180,000 three-dimensional assets. Um, so if we go to living room, yes, we get two columns to do the search. Uh, we can subdivide this also further, but let's just say it stay in the living room category. And if you just scroll down with the sidebar there, yes, we can keep, it'll keep repopulating and repopulating as you're doing your search. Um, we can open this up now, of, as we have been able before, um, with the arrow up here, we can make this four columns uh, easier to see. Well, the new advancement has been to show even more. So there's that, four column area right here. Next tab over, this is the new button. And now you get six columns. So it's easier if you're just visually searching. Um, of course, you know, you can put, do the Boolean search engine up here of typing in descriptive words and some adjectives along the way. Um, that'll narrow down your scope also. But if you're just doing it visually, um, certainly having more columns will benefit you for sure. We can take this down to minimizing it now it's three columns. Um, and of course we take that feature away, it'll go back to the original two columns. And of course, you know that if we want this to disappear for any reason when it's expanded, it's getting in your way as you're working on your project. If you just click on the negative space out here, that window actually fades away and disappears. It's still there. If you just go ahead and take your mouse and drag back over your left hand toolbar over there, it'll come back into vision or click away again. It disappears. Very easy command. Um, hopefully that's given you some new thoughtful power tools um, to be adding to your repertoire as you're developing your technique within Floor Planner. Um, we'll see you again next month to be talking about what has occurred as new features for the month of May. But there you have it for April. Look forward to seeing you in uh, our future recordings and also at our live webinars that we're offering uh, for free on Tuesdays, now Wednesdays and Thursday. Uh, five different webinars, really cool. Um, have a great day. Catch you on the next time. Thank you.